Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today I am going to show you how to make this super easy, super cute stacked pinwheel bow. The way, this is the way that I like to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. And what I use for this is, I use these two, the first two layers here are inch and a half ribbon and this is seven eighth inch ribbon and then the bottle cap in the middle. So I use my four inch template, my three inch template, and my two inch template to do this. So the first one we're gonna start is the four inch template. So, and I don't measure the lengths on these cause I just wrap them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start here. And use my my little alligator clip and just hold it in place and then I'm gonna wrap around like so to here so what I'm looking for is so this is the side that I started on so this one has a half here two and a half here and then on the back side you're gonna have three so then from here, super easy, all I do, just up through the middle of the back, just like that, and I wrap it around. I usually go around this twice. It's a good plan to have a really long piece of thread on your needle. So there's my twice, and then I pull it tight, and then I hold it with my fingers here, pop my clips off, and then it slides right off. And then I kind of, before I really tighten it, I move my loops and I pull it tight. Just like that. And then I throw a stitch. And I'm gonna need a longer piece of thread, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out. go and then we just thread our needle my fingers want to work right today and I always double up my thread makes it even that much more secure and those of you who don't, who are new and don't already know, I use upholstery thread. It is super strong, but not super bulky like the uh, embroidery floss. <clears throat> I like to use this a whole lot better. Okay, so there's that. And this is going to be the top where they're like this for me. So what I do is I like to do it this way. If you prefer to cut the spikes, go ahead. But I like them flat like this. So then I just cut that off seal it and all I'm doing is I'm matching up to this part right here <clears throat> just like that and then there's my bottom layer and that was with the four inch template now I'm gonna go to the three inch template So once again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wrap just like that. I always bring it right here to the edge of my line. And then I just start wrapping around. And then clip this side. Snip that. That off the side. And we do the same thing again. I just drop my scissors. Right through the middle. Pull it through. And then just loop it around. Right through my slit. Without getting tangled up. And 
and last one. And then, once again, I pull it tight and I hold with this hand that I have my needle and thread in. I'm right handed. And then I just slide it out. Some slide easier than others, depending. This one's not one to slide very well, and there we go. We just slide it out. Kind of fluff our loops just a bit. And then we pull it tight. And then just throw a stitch. Again, I always pre knot my thread. If not, I always forget. And then we have that, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna cut right even with that, seal it, and do the same thing over here, and seal it. And then there's our two layers of our inch and a half. And now we're going to do our 7 8. Hopefully, my Batman doesn't show up, doesn't end up upside down. We're going to clip and we're going to twist. Clip and snip. And the same thing. We're going to pop through. Right through the middle. And just start wrapping it around. Like I said, for this one, I probably could get you get exact measurements, but it's so much easier just to wrap it right from the spool. Sorry, bumped the camera. So, just wrapping it around. One last time. And then we give it a pull tight, take our clips off, and slide it off. And then just pull tight. And just making sure everything is right where I want it to be before I get it all said and done. Just throw a stitch in. Now you can do these any size you want. I this is what I this, these are the sizes that I like best. And I do have a pinwheel video that has all the measurements for all the size cardboard templates that I have that I use. I would put the link for that video in the description below. And in the description of that one has all the measurements like I said so we just get them like this and then snip here and then snip here just like that and then all we do uh, this is what I do now, you guys can do them differently too, but this is how I like to do them, is I just put some glue right there, put that one right in the middle, hold it in place for a few minutes, let that glue adhere, and 
And then we do the same thing for the little guy. Right there in the middle. And we put him on there. Just let the glue it here. If you prefer to wrap them, you can. I don't. Because I don't ever have an issue. Because I do this. And I just have a bottle cap with my image on it and my dot, my epoxy dot. And I just put that right there in the middle. And hold that on. Just let it get let the glue dry and adhere. Just like that. And then I already have my lined alligator clip. My lined alligator clip here. And I'm going to just put that right on the back side there. And then I just set it off to the side to dry. And there we have it. And so there, stacked pinwheel bow. Super easy, super cute to do. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And like I said, I will put the link to all the measurements for the cardboard templates in the description below as well as a link to my Facebook page. It's where I share all my videos. So please come by and give a like and chat, ask requests for videos, ask me any questions. I will be more than happy to answer any of them for you. Um, and once again, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and happy crafting.